What's up, creators? Jonathan here. Uh, I am today, I just did a little thing, uh, and I'm going to show you uh, that in a second, but I want to show you where we started. So this, this little box is um, a record player box for a reco cut, and uh, there's just some random parts in here. This is sort of turned into a parts stash uh, for my record player project. This uh, arm I really like. It's an Audax. Uh, I'm going to use it on a different a different turntable. Uh, but this box, I didn't like. And I um, I wanted to do something. I don't know if you guys have looked at a bunch of record players, but I have, and or turntables. And um, they have these modern ones, and I really like the modern ones. They're like $100,000. That one is a $500 turntable. So I took a l bunch of the parts out of that, the Reco cut, uh, and I started to incorporate them into my uh, into my new record player. So I have this Audax uh, arm and, uh, and a little aluminum thing. I'm going to put it on there or end up mounting it on. I hope this is all going on. So this is uh, the first four amplifiers um, for the JBLs. There we go. So I just rebuilt these uh, PCBs. Um, I built two of them for tweeters and two of them for the D130s. So 075s, the, the, the 075s are down there and um, the D130s are over there. And I have a D140 for the center, but that's uh, not this record player thing. So anyways, I have I have a couple. This is the, the regular Reco Cut um, the regular Reco Cut motor. Um, and it has a whole mounting system right here. And I that that goes on that other box over there uh, that I just showed you. And um, I didn't really care for it. Uh, it's really just, it's kind of a challenge for me uh, to be able to build this thing um, and do something fun. So what I've got going on here is uh, disc brakes off of modern cars. This is a uh, Toyota 4Runner and this is a Honda Civic uh, CRV. And um, I just wired up, this is not the right motor. Uh, I just wired up a a little um, thing here so that I could see the thing spin. And I used some tape off of my uh, Ampex. So I just made my own belt. Um, made my own belt to drive this uh, just for test purposes. And then I slid it back. None of, the, none of this is mounted. I'm just using heavy weight, the weight of the discs. And um, I basically put a, a piece of wood. I don't know if you can see under there. I made a piece of wood today uh, and put the mounting thing under there, uh, the shaft. So the shaft from this goes through that. So all of that's still the same. Um, but now it, uh, it spins, it spins, um, I think too slow. I think this motor, uh, came out of a tape machine. Um, it's a universal electric tape machine motor. It's the wrong one, but I sort of was just like, what's going to fit? What are, what am I doing? Um, so anyways, this is the beginning of the um, record player slash power amp that I'm gonna put all on one board um, just for, since it's prototyping, uh, I'm gonna have the power supply over by the motor area over here. I'm gonna watch this back. This looks like a really bad video. <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, that was today. I put together a piece, a couple pieces of wood, 
and then I've just put some extra pieces of wood here just to get my my heights right. Um, and just trying to figure out um, what's working. Uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll make some kind of a, a thing for for the exact motor that normally drives the uh, Reco Cut. And this is a Reco Cut um, motor. I don't know. I'm having fun. Um, yeah, I liked the uh, little tape. The fact that I, I, I have the regular belt that came with it. Um, but it's old and frail. And then I started looking at belts online. And belts online were like $50, $100 for a belt. And I thought, I don't know the distances that I'm playing with yet. I don't know what I'm doing yet. So I'm going to just use uh, tape from my Ampex system. Um, so it's just regular magnetic tape. Uh, you can use pretty much well anything for a belt, and um, it may be slipping. And I have a uh, I have a dial thing, and there's an app you can use to see the speed with the uh, the Reco Cut dial thing. I don't really think I need that just yet because it's it's blatantly obvious it's going slow. Um, and I've I've pulled it tighter and uh, seeing if that will speed it up some. Uh, and it, it does a little bit, but uh, I don't think it's the right speed. Whoa, it just popped off. So now that it's popped off, I can sort of show you the, the little thing that I built. I made this little, uh, little piece of wood to hold it, and then it's just a regular disc brake. Um, so it creates a really heavy base, which is what I was going for. Um, so it's a nice sturdy, nice sturdy base there. Uh, and when I ran this motor, uh, oh, it's still running. Um, when I ran the motor, um, I was pretty impressed that it was a, a high quality motor and it wasn't uh, vibrating at all. And I'm holding it now. It's it's a little warm, but that's it's within tolerance, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, that's that. That's my uh, Saturday update. I hope you all uh, maybe try disc brake uh, turntable system yourself. Uh, and I'll keep going on this. It's a, uh, it's a work in progress. Having fun. Have fun creators.